first you need to create a new combos gen so i just make it a full hd and duration set into 6 second then first i will show the what is the basics and before you work you must install this plexus plugin for your after effects you can choose the demo version or the trial version and if you use the mac version you can also download the mac version and now i will show the the basics of the plexus so just create a solid and also create a mask for this solid layer and i choose the pen tool for create a mask and And if you drop down this, you can see the mask one and mask two because we are creating a two shapes and I just <laughs> align two shape together. Next you go to FX and Robite Plexus. Apply the Plexus plugin into this solid layer and add a geometry, add a path geometry and you can see here is a dot. And if you go to the plexus point, you can increase the point size. And if you go to the path, you can set the path opacity or everything in here. And next I add a line render. And now every points connected with the line. And just add a noise effector. Or you can use noise amplitude for splitting the <laughs> dots uh, this is the basics of the plug plexus plugin and also you can change the line thickness in line render and everything is here and also you can control the how much points you want in your pads and Also noise, you can control the noise amplitude. And if you go to the path, here's the replication option. And you can change the how much points you want. And you can duplicate your points or everything in here. This is the basics of Plexus. And Okay. Now you can see the base. So I just import a, a logo into our project and import into timeline and I convert uh, just right click and create shape from vector layer because I imported the illustrator file. Now I want the shape layer so i just converted into this vector file in uh, illustrator file into a shape layer now this is a shape layer if you drop down this you can see every shape and path here but if you use the plexus you want a solid and mask layer a solid layer with mask so we want convert this shape into uh, solid mask so there is a two method you can you choose first i will show the one method create a new solid and just change the name into logo and copy the logo uh, the shape layer logo shape layer first you, i need you need to create a new mask for the solid you can see here is a new mask mask one but here is the mask path nothing no mask path here so i just go to the shape layer and the path one just copy control c copy copy the mask path and go to the logo mask one and paste it 
if you don't see just tick on here this icon and now you can see the mask path and you can copy and paste the mask path from shape layer into solid and adjust the repos uh, and reposition the mask as per your logo i think it's it's, it's a difficult and if you want to continue create a right click and create another mask and go to group 2 and path just click on the path properties and control c and mask to set the mask path and control c sorry control v for paste and reposition the mask and you can continue like this or second method is based on script because sorry uh, when I second method you can use pen tool and recreate the shapes okay I think it's only possible if your logo like abs uh, geometrical shape okay, if your shape uh, like rounded I think you cannot possible by pen tool so continue this method and I just create every mask I just shy this my main logo and this is a sword layer and we created the mask and if you press M on keyboard you can you can see every mask and now go to FX and draw by it apply the plexus no I don't want to see and I just add a path layer and don't want to see the bounding box so I just tick off and and I line render and now here is the problem and also noise effector now you can see our lines I just uh, testing our okay, I think it's the basis okay but here is the problem is the line is overlapping with the two shapes okay, this is a problem so we need to and go to path object and subdivided mask you can only see the point at the end of these shapes and if you tick on the subdivided, subdivided mask you can get the points by subdivided and increase yeah, because we want to if you want to uh, change if you want to control the uh, overlapping lines you need to group everything separately so I want uh, each shape into a each group so if you go to the path object and here is a mask name begin with the here is the old mask so I just type the mask one press ok now only apply the plexus into mask 1 so make it a group 1 so this is a group 1 and add a, a, another path geometry and make it mask 2 and bottom group second and continue if you go to the line render and draw lines same groups you can see the only line at same groups and I just create another path geometry and mask 3 
and make mask uh, group into three and continue this process on every group mask four and change into the group four and mask three sorry mask four five six and everything and continue this process <laughs> next if you go to the plexus line and you can get the maximum distance and maximum number of vertices and adjust the maximum distance into six hundred and just to tick off all subdivided mask in all group subdivided mask and opacity into hundred make it all group and put the point under and size into five and also just increase the noise amplitude because here is only one noise at one point so just to go to the group one and replication and total number of copies make into okay what happened here if you create a new camera and if you just rotate the scene you can see here is the point C is replicating by three and if you replicate this you can see here it's a too many too many points in depth if you extrude the depth uh, the point into zero you can see here everything in same position so i just set the copy into two and extrude depth into zero so set this effects in every group select the group and replication number of copies two and extrude zero so if you go to noise amplitude you can see here more points and you can control line render opacity here and everything okay now our base is ready now we want to animate this noise amplitude okay here is the noise amplitude i just set into 2500 and add a keyframe at zero frame and go to few frames and set into 1500 yeah you can see here and if you work with the nose details you can get more effects like this you just apply with this noise offset and noise seed if you fly within a noise seed you can get more different noise you can randomize your design and also go to few frame and make the noise amplitude into zero because we want at the end of this noise come with our shape so our base is okay i just change the second E frame into 1800 and control the timing of our animation and select the whole layer also hold keyframe and right click and make it easy the F9 is the shortcut now our base is ok if you go to Flexus noise effector you can get the noise evolution here so 
I just add a keyframe at zero. Nice evolution into second and zero. Because we want more dynamic changing changes. Starting is not minus uh, starting keyframe is 22 and ending keyframe at 0. And if you play and also I just add a keyframe in noise X scale for more dynamic point movement and now our base is okay now we want to uh, unshade our hidden logo so here is the problem because you can see our points over your logo so i just change our logo coloring to red and also we don't want to see at the end of this point you can you can Control by opacity of this plexus layer. So okay. Before you need to animate your logo. So I just create a new shape layer and uh, i want to control the anger point so i just to uh, use the anger point plugin and you can easily control because if you rotate this it's a center based rotation so i just a uh, rotation to 45 degree i think it's a minus 45 okay and just to increase the width because we want to animate this logo so I just create a mask and also change the shape layer name into mask now I want to animate this shape I think it's too short I just increase the shape layer size if you have any confusion I just change the color of this mask because our logo color is red and mask color is blue now we need to animate this mask so go to the mask layer and change if you unlink this I just make the center point at this spot the top side and if you work with the scale property you can see here uh, you must unlink this scale and add a keyframe at here and keyframe at here so you can animate like this now select the keyframe and press f9 okay now our, your base is okay I just make it that starting of this mask layer keyframe and
and move the mask layer and go to logo and click here and use the track mat and make alpha mat if you play here you can only <laughs> see your logo at the top layer and i think you know the track mat if you don't know the what the basis of track mat just search on youtube and now we want to animate we want to duplicate this shape in every logo shapes top and i just control just control the timing and just duplicate again and again and you can set into everywhere and set the all mask and right click and precompose and make and change name into mask and if you go select the shape layer and make it a track mat now you can see your logo is animated now at this time you want to control your plexus opacity so i just add a plexus size and at this time plexus size into zero and also keyframe at the line thickness and line thickness one two and a keyframe and press k for jumping to next keyframe and at here is a zero because you don't you don't you want you don't not you want you you want to see the plexus at here so just control the line thickness and point size so now your base is okay now we just change the logo color into white and create a new solid and make into a red because we want a nice background and make in the bottom the problem is at the starting you cannot see the too much line so i just decrease the maximum distance at the starting and at the ending i just increase by keyframe so at the end we want more Next one is you create a new solid and create a rectangle like this and go to FX and apply Plexus plugin and just open the Plexus window and path geometry. and also set the point size because and add a line render you don't see because your 
salt is our salt is hidden it is drawn on here and it's the point size into for orienting and apply line render sorry I also added so I just did this line render and next if you increase the point on each mask you can get more points and I just set into 100 and just increase the point size into 5 and then render just set the maximum distance and number of vertices set into 2 and work with the maximum distance and if you go to the path object and sorry and create another shape on this same solid for getting more points and then go to the point render uh, sorry the path object and Set the total number of replication total number of copy into one. I think default is one and control the shape layer like this because we are we don't know we don't want to overlap these points or lines. And go to line render. Work with the maximum distance you just increase the shape height like this and select the scale by pressing S on keyboard and just scale our solid like this okay if you like you can see our So we want the at the end time it's make it hundred value in hundred and starting more than hundred. So if you play you can get the a nice background and also work with the line render maximum distance set into three hundred and also work with the point on each mask so here is the problem the line is uh, showing at the start so we need to control in opacity so just check press on t on keyboard at the start it's zero opacity and at the end the opacity into Hundred or anything. At the end, the opacity make it zero. And again, go to land under and it's not work with the only work with the two. 
number of vertices and we can play with the x and y angle and these rotations if you want a different background and make the extrude depth into zero and just to decrease the opacity of this path and number of masks into one, 129 and add a keyframe at the number of masks and set into I think 200 is 2 over so set the point of each mask the second keyframe into into 130 or 40 something like this and press K for jump into new keyframe and set the <laughs> I think it's 2 over and I just set the 135 I think it's okay No, your base animation is okay. No, you want to end with this intro, so I just create a new shape layer, new evoke, new shape uh, rectangle. You can double click on the rectangle, you can get the full full screen, the full size of composition rectangle, and go to the rectangle path and make the size into. pad size like this and apply add a keyframe at here and keyframe at ending zero if you play you can see so I just duplicate this shape layer and align into top and here is the problem I just rotate this into 180 degree now if you play you can see the opening style a door opening now we want to rotate this so go to layer and create a new null object and select both shape layer and parent into a null and R for rotation I just rotate the null into 45 degree I think 45 degree is not okay so I just scale the null mm, with only width and rotate into the corner. I think we want more size, so yes, in keyboard for scale and also increase the size, the height of these shapes and now your opening is okay now if you select the null and both shape layer one one and two and make this pre-compose and name it end and i think at this time you want to get the end so just move the composition now go to the 
in blending mode and make it stencil alpha so if you play your in draw like nkbhd is okay now select the all layer and make it the precompose and change name into main or anything now your intro is okay now we can test it i just import a new video and make it fit and it's starting i think is you need to render now your intro is okay hope you enjoyed if you have any doubt or any problem please comment it below and i think it's little and um, little advanced so enjoy every day